This video explains how to combine a table and a plot in the same graphic using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And we can print our data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains nine rows and the three columns X, Y, and group. Now, in this example, I will show you how to draw our data using the ggplot2 package. And for that reason, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And then in the next step, we can draw our plot using the ggplot and geom point functions, as you can see in lines 10 to 14. So after running these lines of code, a new plot object called ggp is created. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of our studio by running line 15 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a plot that contains our data points in a scatter plot. And the data points are colored based on the groups in our data. Now, if we want to add a table side by side with this plot, we also need to create a data object that contains our table. And we can create such a data object by running line 17 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data object called my table is created. And we can print this table to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 18. And then you can see that we have created another data frame, which contains certain information about our data. Now, if we want to draw this table in our plot, we first have to install and load the ggp misc package, as you can see in lines 20 and 21. I have installed this package as well, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 21 of the code. And then in the next step, I create another plot object, which is plotting our table. And we can do that by specifying an empty ggplot function. Then I use the theme void to remove everything in the background. Then I use the annotate function to annotate our table that we have created before to our plot. So after running lines 23 to 28 of the code, this new plot object called ggp table is created. And we can draw our table object to the bottom right by running line 29 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a table plot with an empty background. So now the final step of this tutorial is to combine our plot and our table. And we can do that using the patchwork package. And for this, we first need to install and load the patchwork package, as you can see in lines 31 and 32 of the code. I have installed this package as well. So for that reason, I'm going to load it with line 32. And then in the next step, in line 34 of the code, we can simply add our two plot objects, ggp, which is containing our scatter plot, and ggtable to each other. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom right that we have created a graphic which is showing our scatter plot on the left side and our table on the right side. We can also use the patchwork package to show our plot and our table on top of each other. And all we have to do for that is to use a backslash instead of a plus, as you can see in line 36. So after running this line of code, our scatter plot is shown at the top and our table is shown at the bottom. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.